Hi everyone, welcome back to Crochet Delight. I'm Barbara, and I'm recording on a completely different device today because I'm having trouble with the other one. Storage is full. Uh, my last video that I'm trying to upload, which is the full version of the highlighter dyeing with little to no sound, is being rejected or processing for the last five minutes on 2%. <clears throat> so, here's why I'm here today. I am here to show you guys the Darn Good Yarn unboxing slash review. So, you guys know that the first month was really good. Yarn, and of course I ordered extra yarn because it was the first box. I wanted to make sure I had enough. And then knitting needles and a crochet hook. And of course, four patterns. Or two, I can't remember exactly which one it was. But um, then the second box came, and that was a downfall. It was the roving yarn again. I, By then I found out I didn't really like the roving yarn. Um, it picks apart and the color is only superficial. It's on the outside, not all the way through. And the bag that was with it was crap. I mean, it's a good bag for something, but definitely not to hold your knitting needles or your crochet hooks. It would hold crochet hooks, but not the knitting needles, because the knitting needles are too big. They're way too long. I mean, you could fit the tiny ones that... the tiny double-ended ones, I guess. But it has no zipper. It has a button. So everything's wide open. Bad box. Box number two was bad. Number three... That one was a good one. I loved the yarn. It wasn't the roving yarn. It was a nice sparkly yarn with blues, browns, and a little bit in between. And it had stitch markers with it. The smell, yes, in all three of those boxes were terrible. Made me nauseous. But here's box number four. It's already open, which is why the flaps are out. And here it is. I hope the light is showing these, because it does not look it on my device. Um, this yarn is the roving yarn. It's actually, as you can see on the tag, a tweed yarn, which would explain why it looks dirty. But it's also recycled silk. There's 55 yards this month instead of 50, and the smell's gone. The overwhelming, disgusting, flowery smell that makes you so nauseous to your stomach that you're gonna throw up anything you had for the last week is gone. There is none of that in this. I mean, I can smell right into the center, and there's a very faint smell but it's not that overwhelming, gross smell. So, there's that. I don't like that it's a roving yarn, but I like the colors. I like that the smell's gone. Um, you get five extra yards this month. And then, like always, you have your patterns and your little booklet. So... In the booklet, the first two patterns, knit and crochet, knit, crochet, and they are bobble bracelets. So you get to make two different variations of bobble bracelets. Crochet one has it all around the wrist, and it looks like there's just a little cluster of them in this one, and then you turn page and you get cowls so it looks like it says Gemini cowl so here's the crocheted one and here's the knit one over here so you get the si the same patterns 
in knit and crochet and you get a little pamphlet and I, I skipped a couple pages. So I skipped the first two pages. There we go. It shows you what's in the box and a little backstory on how the yarn is made, where it's made, and all that. And then, of course, all the contact information is on the back. So, there's the little pamphlet for this year. I mean, not this year, this month. <laughs> it's okay. I lost a day of, uh, well, just an entire day this week just because it's a mess here. <laughs> Somebody keeps waking up at 2 in the morning screaming bloody murder. Oh boy. And then they give you a little pom-pom and tassel keychain. So, I like it. The top one is blue with some tan. Kind of like a sandy color. And then pink with some gray. And then you've got your orangey yellow tassel. So, I like it. This month's yarn pamphlet and you get a keychain and the pamphlet doesn't want to stay up. There we go. So this is this month's kit. This month I think it was a little more worth it because they really really got rid of that annoying smell and that really nauseating smell. They gave you a little extra thing in here one that's not a bag that's gonna just let all of your hooks run wild I mean I can see you using it for hmm can't really see what you would use that bag for month two for but you get a nice little keychain to put on your bag your if you if you're young a backpack but if you're not a purse or if you've got a place to put it on your phone, I know there's little slots where you can hang a little keychain on it or a leader. And you can hook this on the leader for your phone. You can hook it on with your keys or whatever it is. But I'm a little disappointed that it's a roving yarn because I do like the other yarn from last month. But I think it's a decent box. For me, it ends up being about $14 per month just because of shipping, so it would be nice if they would include shipping in the price, even if they marked up the box to $15 uh, a month, and that would include the shipping or anything like that. Let me know how much it is for you guys if you guys get the Darn Good Yarn box. For me, it's about three, four dollars for shipping, so I end up paying a total of fourteen dollars for the box. So, how much do you guys end up spending for the box if you get it at all, or if you had gotten it in the past and decided I'm not going to get it anymore? Um, let me know what you think of this month. Let me know what you guys have paid. I, again, pay fourteen dollars a month. And I, I like the little keychain. It's cute. The yarn this month does look a little dirty just because it's a tweed. And I don't think they really made the tweed right. That's probably why it looks a little dirty. And you've, of course, got your well, four patterns. Your two knit and your two crochet ones. So, without further ado, <laughs> happy hooking, everyone. And I hope you guys have a very delightful evening or morning, depending on where you guys are. So, bye!